Hello, Hank and John, and my students. So, uh, normally I wear a tie, but uh, today I'm not because I got really excited about an idea this morning, and I'd had coffee, which I don't always do, and, and things went the way they did. Uh, so, this is my Vlog Brothers video about Vlog Brothers uh, that looks at the length versus views of different YouTube. So, I do this thing called Diagram Tuesday in my class. And every Tuesday I put up some kind of diagram or graph and the students have a discussion and learn how to read a diagram, and how to discuss a diagram, and maybe read a little bit about what's behind the diagram or what's missing from the graph. Uh, in his video, I think earlier this week, John was talking about, John Green was talking about uh, where, where his notch is and how he's hoping to make the excitement level go down, but instead it's gone up this year. Uh, I thought this was an interesting question because then at the end of the video he asked, do we make a moratorium on, continue the moratorium on our four minute video length for our videos. And this is a really interesting question. And this is a great natural experiment because Hank and John intentionally make their videos four minutes or less most of the time. And now they've sort of unleashed that or, or gotten rid of that rule for a bit. So now we can, we have kind of a natural experiment where we can see, do their videos that are longer do better or not. So what I did, and this took a bit, is I wrote down the name of each video, which brother made it, the date it was made, the length of the video, the number of views, and the number of likes. So basically the data that's available publicly. I did that for every video for 2023 up to take it up a notch. And I didn't actually realize until I finished this that the very first video of the year for them was take it down a notch. So that's kind of a nice bookend for this. Okay, now, so I made six graphs. One for, the first one's for both brothers together. So in this graph, you can see that the blue dots being views, we're gonna focus on those that there is a general upward trend, and if you put a polynomial uh, best fit line on it, which I think is more interesting, which is what I would expect. I would expect really short videos to maybe not get very many views because people might not want to watch them because they're too short and there's not enough there to watch, and they might not want to watch very long videos because those videos take too much time. So uh, when making that decision, there's kind of probably a sweet spot. So as we can see in the video for the brothers together, uh, the trend line is up and it sort of seems to peak around 14 minutes. The problem is Hank has two videos that are super long. One that was very uh, watched quite a bit or clicked on quite a bit. Views to me really correlate with clicks. It doesn't necessarily mean they watched the whole video. And then there's another really long one that was one of the least viewed videos. So that kind of skews the data. So if we remove those two, then the graph does change a little bit, but the general shape doesn't change too much. So we'll leave those in. Okay, now here's the really interesting thing, and I think one thing that's maybe undersold is that graphs can also be funny. So I went Hank first and then John because I used alphabetical order. And uh, you can see from Hank's graph that uh, his, his slope is a little bit higher than the brothers together. Uh, and the, the polynomial also kind of peaks as well. So same, same general shape. And then, but if we look at John's, his slope is about the same. His R squared isn't as good, so he's sort of more, more random, or at least it's not as large. Uh, the best part, though, is this graph right here, which is that John's polynomial is open up, which means that the shorter the better and the longer the better. So I think maybe the answer to the question is that Hank should be limited to about six minutes based on his graph and that John should make videos as long as he wants. And at the very least, we'll find out if that trend continues on this graph. Uh, hopefully this is an interesting video for you guys. Hopefully these are some interesting graphs to take a look at. And hopefully this continues to build an understanding of how diagrams are, are useful, but also can be kind of funny. Thanks for watching.